All right, everyone. Finally had a chance to get the new toy out here. It's a Dodge Viper. It's a 2005. It's a commemorative edition. It's a special edition. There's only 100 of these made. This one happens to be number 16 of 100. Going to give you guys a little walk through of the car and show you what we're working with here. Pretty much all stock as far as performance goes, just a K and N intake system on it, and of course a cat back exhaust. As um, far as looks go, I've got rid of the 10 spoke stock rims and I've put some Sidewinder 5 spoke rims on it. They're the lightest Viper rim you can buy, and it really makes the car look nice. So, coming around here, got the on this special edition they have the brushed aluminum Viper badges on it, front and rear. On the rear bumper they got the Viper logo also. Stock brakes. Got a k and intake system on it right there. Engine's all stock. Putting out over 500 horsepower bone stock. So definitely enough to cruise around and have some fun in, that's for sure. Of course, a cat back exhaust. Got the brushed aluminum door seals. It's all factory. I think this is probably the nicest interior on all of the third and fourth gen Vipers. It's got all black interior, leather with suede. Very nice, very nice seats. Got your Viper logo there, all blue stitching. Blue stitching on the seats. Blue stitching on the e-brake, your shifter, and on the steering wheel. There is your 16 of 100 commemorative edition. I've got the convertible boot cover on here. Gives it a nice clean look when the top's down. It is white with blue stripes, as you can see. Looks very nice. One of the nicer um, looking Vipers, I'd say, as far as the stripes and white goes. You don't see a lot of white Vipers with blue stripes, or white Vipers, in period. So, on here, as far as the stereo goes, wanted to keep it very simple. Wanted to keep the stock deck, wanted to keep everything stock, clean, and simple looking on this car. It's just a cruiser, it's not a race car, but you could use it for racing. It is capable of it. There's your subwoofer adjuster knob. This is stock subwoofer. There isn't much you can do far jet for is putting a better sub in here. This is very limited room, but I was able to have the stereo shop put an amp on it for me. And the iPod hookup. Got Audison speakers in the front and your little Infinity speakers in the rear. So, other than that, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.